everybody, I'm back. It's been just about two weeks on my tea blockers and I have a little bit of updates for you. Nothing major, like I haven't experienced any physical changes of course because it's just blocking my testosterone, it's not giving me anything. But there are some things that I find a lot easier now that I've been on tea blockers for a couple of weeks. The first thing is I find it a lot easier to change my voice, right? Because when you're on testosterone, or when you are, te when you have a lot of testosterone in your body, your voice resonates from your chest area. So it's actually somewhere down here. But what I'm finding it easier to do is to stretch my voice up and move it into my head voice, which is right here. I don't know if my voice is going to get any higher. Like the thing with estrogen and testosterone is testosterone thickens your vocal cords. So you can go from having thin cords to thick cords, but taking estrogen and reducing your testosterone does not shrink your cords. So you can't physically change your voice, you have to mentally do it. You have to change it with effort. So that it will never become an effort, I mean it'll become a habit, right? But I'll never just have a, light, a higher voice. I just have to train it to be higher. And what I'm finding to be easier is training my voice to be higher now. Because I'm not, I don't have that heavy force of testosterone to weigh it down. And the thing is it's only going to come easier to me as time goes on. So it's already improved a lot and this is only with two weeks of tea blockers and it's a small dosage. I've only been taking 100 milligrams a day and some of my friends are on 400 milligrams a day. So so it depends on each person how much they give you, but two weeks of 100 milligrams a day has already made it a lot easier for me to use my head voice instead of my chest voice. So that's the first thing. I've also noticed my hair growing back a little bit slower, not the hair on my head, but on my body and on my face. So I have a Croatian and kind of, if you think of Italian men, that's kind of my background. So thick, dark, coarse hair, especially on the face. So I get a lot of razor burn. I get a lot of irritation from shaving and it's something that's a really big irritation for me not only mentally to have to physically shave in terms of a dysphoria thing but it's also physically harmful to shave every day with my with my hair type. I found it grows back a little bit slower. I still have to shave every day but it's not as painful because the hair isn't as aggressively growing, right? So that's something that's good. That's also from a reduction of testosterone. Again, no estrogen in my body yet, right? I feel physically a little bit weaker. Again, I don't have test... I, it, it's small things. It's very subtle, but it's something that I'm noticing as early as two weeks with no estrogen. I think it's important to share that. So I'm noticing I have a little bit less upper body strength. I have to exert myself more more to lift heavier things and that's because estrogen and testosterone both distribute fat and muscle differently. So if I'm reducing the testosterone in my body, my muscles are going to move a little bit, they're going to shrink a little bit. Again, no major change because I haven't introduced estrogen yet, but I'm finding they're a little bit weaker, a little bit smaller, nothing major, but it's things that I notice and that make me happy. I've also had a lot of trouble with my hands in my entire life. I've never liked my hands and my fingers. I've always felt like they're huge and bare paw-ish, and I don't think they physically changed at all, but mentally in my mind, I feel a lot more comfortable with my hands, and I don't know why it's my hands and not anything else in my body, but I do feel better about my hands and it's it's just a mental thing. I recently watched a video by Zinnia Jones, I'm going to link it down here. She's such a smart, smart woman. She talks about trans issues in a wonderful way. So if you don't already watch Zinnia Jones, I encourage you to check this out. This video is about the mental effects of hormone replacement therapy. She talks about just feeling like a human in your body once you start the hormone replacement therapy because there's so much emphasis put on the physical changes that people don't really explore the mental changes and I will tell you that I feel more comfortable in my body already, and that's without introducing estrogen. I still already feel better. My entire life I felt like I was not an outgoing person, I felt like I just didn't do parties, I don't do outings, I don't go out because that's not, I don't feel comfortable. And the reality was that I wasn't expressing myself properly, and I didn't feel safe because I felt like people would interpret me incorrectly, right? And now that I've started to transition and I've started the hormones, and again I haven't started estrogen, but the, the changes are in my mind that I'm talking about right now, I feel already more comfortable talking to people. I don't get misgendered at all almost. People are like, oh, you know, what would you like, ma'am? And it's, it's, it just makes you so peaceful. I've never felt so peaceful. When I go shopping, I don't feel like I have to run out unless I'm in a grocery store lineup. They'll still freak me out. But I mean, clothes shopping and everything, I feel perfectly safe going into places. Not lingerie or underwear places yet, but, but clothing stores, I'm super comfortable. I just walk in. I'm like, yep. Yeah, 
I'm just a girl shopping and it doesn't feel wrong and it's wonderful. So the mental changes are as important, if they're more important than the physical changes, but they're not talked about as much. So I do want to shed some light on those as time goes on. I'm going to talk about that more. Um, but I do encourage you to check out Zinnia Jones videos down here. Tell her I said hi. I love her. She's incredible. Such a good influence on young trans people and such a good speaker and, and just she's just so smart it blows my mind so if you can check her out say hi for me I would love that because everybody should be watching Zinnia Jones that's all that I've noticed so far in terms of what testosterone blockers have done for me not everybody will experience the same changes not everybody will experience anything with testosterone blockers but this is what I've noticed and they're small small things but they mean a, a world of difference for me because I'm already becoming more comfortable in my body and I cannot believe how much of a difference there is with just two weeks of deep blockers for me. Again, like I said two seconds ago, not everybody experiences the same changes. Not everybody will be comfortable or more comfortable only after two weeks of deep blockers. So do not, my experience is not universal. I will say that in every single one of these videos. My experience is not universal. But this is just what I've experienced so far. I will see you again soon. I will be starting estrogen in about two or three weeks. I think it's three weeks from now or four. October 28th is the day I'm supposed to start estrogen, so we'll see what happens, but I'm excited for that, and I will let you know as soon as I notice anything else, okay? Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye. I love you.